Good afternoon, everyone. I'd like to speak to you today about an urgent responsibility the Congress has to uphold the national security needs of the United States, and quite frankly, of our partners as well. <clears throat> this cannot wait. Congress needs to pass supplemental funding for Ukraine before they break for the holiday resources. It's as simple as that. Frankly, I think it's stunning that we've gotten to this point in the first place. While Congress, and Republicans in Congress, are willing to give Putin the greatest gift he could hope for and abandon our global leadership, <clears throat> not just in Ukraine, but beyond that. We've all seen the brutality that Putin has inflicted on Ukraine, invading another country, trying to subjugate his neighbors to his iron rule, committing atrocities, atrocities against Ukrainian civilians, trying to plunge them into the cold and darkness of winter by bombing their electrical grid so they don't have any heat during the winter, <clears throat> or electricity for that matter. Russian forces are committing war crimes. It's as simple as that. It's stunning. Who is prepared to walk away from holding Putin accountable for this behavior? Who among us is really prepared to do that? I just did a meeting with the G7, which was one of the issues we discussed. All the European leaders, we are prepared to stay with us, stay with Ukraine. <clears throat> Our European friends are as well. Who in the United States is prepared to walk away from that? I tell you, I'm not prepared to walk away. And I don't think the American people are either. If Putin takes Ukraine, he won't stop there. It's important to see the long run here. He's going to keep going. He's made that pretty clear. If Putin attacks a NATO ally, if he keeps going, and then he attacks a NATO ally, where we've committed as a NATO member that we defend every inch of NATO territory, make no mistake, today's vote's going to be long remembered. And history's going to judge harshly those who turn their back on freedom's cause. We can't let Putin win. Say it again, we can't let Putin win. It's in our overwhelming national interest and the international interest of all our friends. Any disruption <clears throat> in our ability to supply Ukraine clearly strengthens Putin's position. We've run out of money to be able to do that in terms of authorization. Extreme Republicans are playing chicken with our national security, holding Ukraine's funding hostage to their extreme partisan border policies. This has to be a negotiation. Republicans think they get everything they want without any bipartisan compromise. That's not the answer. That's not the answer. And now they're willing to literally kneecap Ukraine on the battlefield and damage our national security in the process. Stand against the tyranny of Putin. Stand for freedom. Literally stand for freedom. Let's get this done. We're the reason Putin has not totally overrun Ukraine and moved beyond that. You all heard me talk about it before. If, in fact, we walk away, how many of our European friends are going to continue to fund? And at what rates are they going to continue to fund it? This is too serious. Like I said, I am willing to make significant compromises on the border. We need to fix the broken border system. It is broken. Mr. President, Mr. President, do you think there is any Democrat who could defeat Donald Trump other than you? Only 50 of them. You do believe that there are? I'm not the only one to read it, but I will defeat him. Who else do you think could defeat Donald Trump, Mr. President? 